What is going on guys and girls, my name is Van Gogh and today we have got the Inform Cardozo review and I am very excited to do this review. Um, he is the man of the match player who plays for Benfica, he is originally a striker but I did move him down to the centre forward role after reviewing his stats he kind of looked like more of a centre forward player to me, he's not the fastest so I wouldn't have stuck him up front. But as you can see guys we played 9 games with him and we scored 10 goals, I believe it should have been a lot more goals than that and there's a few reasons for this. You can see that straight away his weak foot is two stars which isn't good but if you look at here and you can see how immense his shooting is straight away it's 90 overall which is let's face it one of the best stats of shooting I've ever actually seen and he definitely was one of the best finishers I've ever used on the game but I don't know if I can warrant the 200 K price mark just yet. Here is his in game stats, guys. He's got 96 shooting, 96 free kick accuracy, 95 long shots, 88 heading accuracy, 94 penalties, 99 shot power. He has got an absolute cannon on him. And his volleys are 88 as well. So all of his shooting stats, are, as you'd expected for a 90 overall shooting, it's they're all amazing and you really can feel it in game I scored a few world eat of goals this is where the problems begin though guys he's got medium attacking work rate and a medium defensive work rate which means he's quite he's not very active on the pitch and again the physical attributes don't help his acceleration is 64 and his sprint speed is 65 his balance is 36 now the balance is the key thing that I want to say here when he's on the ball he feels like he's just gonna fall over all the time he may have a lot of strength but as he's walking, he just kind of, he, you're going to see here, I've put it up, I've put a little note saying ball control, and as he's dribbling and other players are around him, he seems to just get, like, kind of, like, just rolled off the ball, it's so weird, it, it was really doing my head in, I mean, if he didn't get a bit of space, he, he'd just it just lose it completely the pace is a huge problem as well guys and you you saw that in that last one, I've done a couple of passing ones here because I noticed as I was using him, his passing wasn't that great, so I just wanted to throw in a couple of examples there just to show how bad it is. And this is where it gets just as bad. It's the weak foot. And I'm not saying he's a bad player at all, guys. He's probably one of my favourite ones so far, if you can get him in the right positions. But his weak foot is two star, and you can really feel it. He's left-footed predominantly, obviously. So when you do get a shot with his right foot, it it just kind of it just P-rolls like this one there. But now we're going to move on to his positives, guys, and shooting. Let's just... Let's just say everything about his shooting is just right. He can do it from long range. He can do it from close range. He can finesse. He can chip the keeper. Look at that. How the hell did that go in? I, that 90 finishing, guys, is just one of the most insane insane like stats I've ever seen. And this one again, how did that go in? He just does stuff with his left foot, which is just unhuman. It, I don't know how he does it. I mean, that and overhead, he nearly even scores that. He's just insanely good with his shooting, guys. Um... Any angle, it'll it'll go in. Any angle, it's it's really crazy. It's just the power, the finesse, the accuracy. It just all works, and it's just like a laser beam shot. I'm not even joking. Now this is where he surprised me as well. His dead ball situations were fantastic. I scored a couple of penalties, nearly scored a free kick. For me, nearly scoring a free kick is a huge accomplishment. If you have watched my videos before, you know I am really bad at free kicks, but I am slowly getting better. Now watch this, guys. Boom! Look at that for a goal. I mean. I, I don't want to warrant the 200k mark as a price you should pay for him, but when you're getting like stuff like that, I don't know how you can't buy him. Do you know what I mean? Like I've never been able to score goals like that with any other player. Um, maybe if his price was a bit lower, I would actually splash out for him. I'm not going to advise you to buy him on the 200k, but I don't know. If his price goes below 120k, I would definitely buy him, but... I mean, his long shots are just so... You can see, I can tell that I'm not a good person at long shots, but whoever is, I'm I'm 100% sure that they would just be able to absolutely own with this guy. Look at that. He does out, He does curled shots, non-curled shots. He just does all sorts. I'm sure his traits are uh, something like long shot taker. I mean, it must be, surely. We've got his heading to move on to now, guys, and his heading was actually quite good. It, it was a bit weird, though, because sometimes it was hit and miss, but when he did actually get it, it was quite good. And this is one of the ones that I did miss. It was a free header, and I don't know how he missed it, to be honest. I mean, I thought it was going to go in, but he seemed quite strong. He, he was good in the air. Um, and yeah, that's it, basically, guys. I would give him an 8 out of 10. I worked really hard on this review as well, and it's not really long, so I was quite disappointed with that. But I spent 200k on him, and... He's got a lot, of bad, a lot of bad points for the 200k, so I'd maybe wait until he gets a bit cheaper, as I have said before. But if if you have to try him out, 
then I would, I don't know, I would advise getting him. If, if, you, if you're one of these types of people that see the orange card and you think, oh man, night is shooting, I have to get him. And if you've got the money to spend, then I would advise to get him because that left, the left foot he's got is just out of this world. Um, if you have enjoyed this, guys, please remember to leave a like, a comment, and as always, subscribe. Bye, thank you very much.